Havoc. Uh, I feel like we didn't get that much good Havoc representation right. the past week or so. Right. Which is the whole game, and uh, we definitely have maybe too much now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely getting those flashbacks of seeing all the Sindel Serena, and I'm just getting Havoc plus whatever cameo they decide to use, whether it be the Cyrax, whether it be, uh, in this case, Sub-Zero. Uh, but yeah, tons of Havoc. We saw the one Havoc earlier in the week that really kind of took the uh, tournament by storm because the unfamiliarity, right? Nobody had unlocked him at the time. Uh, but now, seeing so much uh, Havoc this weekend, and you can see why that character has so much success, especially constantly pushing towards the corner, backed up with any sort of camera that can kind of just keep chipping away. I mean, this character is just tough to deal with in neutral. Yeah, it's, it's definitely all about the neutral. And I think, too, like, once we run into some of the characters that are going to be really strong neutral as well, like, that's why I think some of them have had some troubles against the Astros. She's also right. got some really strong neutral. Uh, but these two in particular have just been so strong on their actual fundamentals game uh, that even in a wild game like this, it really, really shines through in such a clear way. It does look like they're going to go for the Havoc Mirror. Again, Striker definitely at least has chosen three characters throughout the course of the uh, this weekend, I should say. Right. Uh, but this is looking like the, the go to. I think the Havoc has won by far the most. I think Reptiles lost like every single game, which is unfortunate because Reptiles are cool, but uh, Havoc Mirror was sub. That's exactly what we saw in the uh, winner's finals, and now it's exactly right. what we're seeing now, I think, again. Okay. Locked in here. Buttons are checked. This is it. Our losers finals match before grand finals. Let's hear it. See Yotaku 7, MK1. Do it for me because I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a huge crowd out here, by the way. Full this. I want to say this early in the morning, but it's only this early in the morning for me. Right, 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 right. Just past noon, which is definitely not when I'd be awake. But uh, yeah, only three players, two Havocs and an Astra, but only one Havoc gets to make it back up to grand finals. The rematch, last time they met here, it was down to game three nice. and Parsa won, but Striker wants it for sure. All right, armored up just in the nick of time, too, before that fireball hit, and the disjointed hurt box definitely gonna come through. And you're rolling into a ball of goo. Tough. This is definitely a very gooey match, yeah. for sure. <laughs> We're getting uh, we're getting a lot of a slime here. We we, there, we need a green mod so we can like uh, right, right. be like Nickelodeon. Of course, of course. Uh, Wait for the Halloween <laughs> costumes. It'll be a Halloween costume oh, yeah, for there sure. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Definitely some good Halloween costumes in there. But all right, big conversion. It's gonna Woo! get the nice confirm. Uh, yeah, a lot of meters saved. It seems like we're gonna be seeing most meters saved for breakers this time around. Right. There's a chance for some uh, like two bar blockable setups, but especially with the arm, there's some like weird ways that uh, actually we're gonna see it off the bat. So uh, I was definitely wrong about that. But just getting the jump in and then using it for the full conversion. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Striker starting off strong. Yeah, really good stuff here. Nice with the bound of the EX Fireball. Or Goo Ball, if you will. Yeah, gonna have a little bit of extra oh. uh, cameo as well uh, yep. on that sub. Only one bar available of sub for Parsa. Sheesh. Wow, not even, yeah, not gonna even use it this round. That is just a great anti-air. Uh, yeah, not only do you have to be good at, at like footsies, of course, in the fundamental game, but the anti-airs have been so on point for yeah. all these players. Got right, the neck breaker. Nice toss out the trash. All right. Down four, down four. Just mm -hmm. like a lot of patience. I like it. And again, not committing to any of the follow-ups off the back two, two. There's a lot of respect here, especially since they both play Havoc. They know exactly what the mind game is. So it's kind of like another level of Yomi. And, oh, try to get yeah. the follow-up with the one, one two. I like that because even though it whiffed, it was still plus. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, he had the duck throw there. Early break. It's up here from Striker. Yeah, I like the staggers going for the back dash to try to force uh, Parse out to overextend to get a whip punish opportunity. I mean, Havoc, such a good character for whip punishing because of all of his normal forward advancing like that. Oh, okay, the mid combo fireball that I was saying was so cool into the unblockable, but oh no, the challenge, the roll on wake up, just saying, I'm gonna wait for what you're gonna do, but I'm not gonna hold block. And so that's two bars wasted now for Striker. Regardless, though, has a gigantic lead here and a round lead in game number one. It's gonna be a three out of five. It's gonna be a long set. Yes. All right, blow it up. Ooh. Yep, might be it, I think. Yeah, yep, no there chance you go, to there break. You go. And uh, first strong game one for Striker. 
Uh, it's so interesting to me in this game, too. You know, there's been so much talk about, like, should we do two out of three? Should we do three out of five? Right. Because some matches in this game are instantaneous. Some matches right. end in, like, ten seconds. But when you see matches like this, like, a lot of the Havoc matches that we've had today, when we saw Aztec in the uh, in top 24, right. uh, yeah. are playing so lame. I mean, it's, it's a compliment, you know. Right, right. Is good. Defensively. But, yeah, yeah. No, look, we're going to be honest. That's lame. Oh, okay. you're, you're, when you're defensive, you're blocking. When you're uh, supermaning across the screen uh, to whiff, to get away, that's that's like. But but no, no, Aztec's a great player that I've, yes, uh, I've been yes, talking yes, to for yes, a long yes. time. Um, but yeah, some of these matches take forever. So it's uh, it's really tough, right? Because yeah. uh, if we had three out of five of this matchup in every single bracket, we are running way too late. If we have three out of five of the full auto matchup previously, then we are running ahead of schedule still. Yeah. It's always hard to tell. But again, we're in for a long road here. Uh, Striker and Hearts, they went to game three last time they played. It was only two out of three set. Went three out of five. Plenty of time for adaptation. Striker is a really good adaptation, Ooh. but uh, holding the lead on early is pretty good. Yep. Nice, got the spew. Instead of with more armor right after, we got the bound. Nice trade if you're on uh, Parsap. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get a big follow up. Striker still in the turn back. Nice. Combo. Uh, yeah, you, you have to drop your combos essentially. I, I know it sounds weird, but you end your combos earlier than like actually getting a finisher so you can get Oki with the True. projectile. And that's just what you have to do with Havoc. If anybody's wondering why it looks like they're dropping combos sometimes, it's always intentional. Mostly intentional. All right, nice down one here. Oh, the back Ooh. two will just dash up, yeah. Caught, caught a button, maybe. That does yeah. jump over some low pokes sometimes. Oh, going for the yeah, unblockable. There we go. Oh, nice little back down right there, very important. And giving no <laughs> opportunity here for Striker to even get caught by that unblockable. Yeah, I love that pressure. It's just like eventually you're gonna have to make a read, right. regardless of whether it's gonna work out for you or not. Uh, and now we're both super low. 15 seconds left. That might be. Oh no! Didn't get the full conversion right there. Just went for the low. Maybe dialed in a little bit quick, but the low is gonna be the option again. That was a 50-50, a true 50-50 guess for right. game. Uh, whether it was gonna be back to too low, back to grab, or honestly, you could have even staggered. So uh, definitely a punch of different options. Uh, Parsons though fighting back their way back in uh, as a uh, oh, no. Yeah, armored up, didn't fall through. Could have gone for the low, would have broken it. Oh, there we go again, the setup. This has worked almost not at all in this matchup, and it's gonna continue to maybe not work. Uh, yes, a 0% success rate, as far as I can remember, <laughs> in this in particular uh, round of the tournament. All right, another goo ball. Here's one more. Oh, what a duck, able to get a full punish. Missed the micro dash in there, and that was crucial to get that damage. Yeah, down two is doing just so much damage with single hits, but nice, again, the back two. I mean, again, that is such a good footsie's normal. Mm -hmm. If, that, if there, that back two wasn't as good as it was hitbox-wise, and then this character would be, honestly, complete trash. But that's why we're seeing so much of it. Back to two, two in the Fatal Blow. This one, I believe, doesn't kill. Uh, the scaling's gonna oh, be yeah. extremely low, but it looks like the life is just a little bit too high. So this might be a guess for game on both sides after this. Exactly, yep. We'll see what the wake-up game is going to look like here. A little bit more health here for Striker to kind of block some of this projectile game here. Armored up, down to oh, kept it simple. Oh, oh, oh. What a round for Striker! Striker has a basically 100% uh, success rate on the anti as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's a great down two. Uh, honestly, I think it's kind of the only option that you have as well as Havoc. Some characters have a great anti option in this game. Right. Havoc. I mean, it's a great down two, but uh, all you're getting is just the actual knockdown off of it. Yeah. But it's consistent at least. Duck the first one here, immediate break from Striker. Oh, nice roll to avoid the goo ball. <laughs> the goo ball going back even, but yeah. uh, but Sub-Zero said I don't care about that. You know, I, mean, I got your back quite literally this time around. Uh, so we're gonna see the full conversion there. 340, that's about the biggest that you can get as uh, uh, Havoc, so you're definitely happy to get that in the mirror. Speaking of weird mirror things, just projectiles into go. projectiles. Yeah. Front down four, bring with the back two string. One more time here. Oh, the instant Jeez. duck! Instantly ducked it into the punish. That's gonna be full conversion. Uh, doesn't get the full uh, projectile conversion this time, but no. fatal blow now available for striker. So Ooh. one big hit. Actually, you could down four and maybe confirm it into fatal blow if you see the arm coming right. out. That would be really cool, but maybe not gonna get the chance. This should be enough, I think. No, no, not quite. Just it's chip, but he's gonna catch it on the second back two two. Maybe a false block there could have worked, but in the end, we're gonna tie things up. And. Uh, 
guys. Uh, so. Oh, a little bit of a technical difficulty. The uh, in-house screen ah. uh, currently blacked out for folks at home. Uh, they're going to be taking care of that here before we advance. So this gives both players the opportunity to uh, kind of recuperate their thoughts, uh, think through their next uh, neutral interactions, as it were. Uh, they're like, hmm, should I back 2-2 two -two or <laughs> should I back 2-2? Two -two? And then after I back 2-2, two -two, should I back 2-2 two -two again or should I back 2-2 two -two again? You know, <laughs> what they should do is probably back 2-2. Two -two, and then if they back 2-2, two -two, they also back 2-2. Two -two. I think that makes sense. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still really surprised, truly, that we're not seeing 4-4. Four -four. I think that's an amazing normal. Yeah. Uh, it's slightly faster than back 2-2, two -two, so it might win in the neutral war. And it's uh, it is a, as far as I can remember, it's a safe on block, uh, like low into uh, just like a sweep, essentially. Right. Uh, wait, was that it? Was that the normal right there? I, I actually <laughs> looked like away for one second. So I wait think a minute. I saw it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it was, then uh, then bless you. But we are going to see the unblockable finally yes. work overall. And again, you're spending two uh -oh. bars to set that up. Uh, yeah. And yeah, unfortunately, it worked, and then the drop made it not work. Yeah, that was supposed to be that freeze restand here from Sub Zero. Another drop. This is already turning into spaghetti this round. Yep. We, need to, we need to slow down. We need to settle up because we cannot get these drops. If Havoc drops combos a lot of times, it is fun. Okay. Max range here, both respecting armor. Nice trade here. Keeps you close as well for Striker to continue pressure. Right, the grab is going to do a bit. It's about half of the remaining life, but we are potentially one good version away. That was a big risk. I like that. That may have led to a potential win situation, but it did take a lot of meter uh, yes. from Parsa. So uh, big, big risk, big reward potentially uh, ended up being the big risk, <laughs> the big punish. Right, nice down to striker again. For your, the accuracy from down two. Uh, it controls the skies for yeah. sure. Uh, they are definitely unsafe. Oh, nice! Well, broke the armor right there with three hits. It looked like that was actually weird. Uh, but this is going to be an unblockable setup option once again. Saying now you spent your bar, I'm going to spend mine, and that's a great way to guarantee it essentially oh. because you can block string into that unblockable. Yep. And uh, I love that choice. Yep, just that breaker there. All right, the patience going to get scooped up. Tragic. Grab just doing a little bit of extra damage is really big right now, especially because again, like I said, it's a very low damage game, right? Most yeah. of these hits and conversions are like, like just little bits like this. Like you see the command grab, it does uh, like one. Oh, I thought it was 110. 109 is a weird number, but uh, like the, doing 10 extra damage in a grab over in the course of a three out of five game set, right. it, it adds up to be a lot. All right, armed warfare coming through. Uh, oh uh, no. Oh. The armor is working out a lot better this set uh, so far than it was in the first time around. It seems like they've been blocking a lot, but again, mixed for game, and it's just been staggers waiting for that neutral duck. Yep, one more touch is all that striker needs. We do get it off of a roll. Oh, no, no, yeah, the, uh, I think that was actually uh, uh, the potential right there where it's like, if, even if you hit me, there's some self damage yeah, that yeah, you yeah. can do. So uh, it was kind of like, oh, well, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a risk, but even the chip there would be enough. So very, very smart stuff. But uh, striker now up in the set, even yeah. though te technically they're now even, right? It was 2-1 in well, winner's finals and heaven's finals. Now it's 2-1 the other direction. So against each other in this tournament, they are now three to three. <laughs> and there's still a few more games left for somebody to break that tie, but uh, this is looking like some very, very even play to me. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the patience between both these players really trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of every little inch that they get in this match. You need it. You need yes. it. I know I keep talking about it, about how low damage Havoc is. Uh, I, I hope nobody out there thinks I'm trying to like downplay Havoc, but honestly, Havoc does have a lot of struggles. It's the truth. These players are just playing amazingly. Uh, you know, we're not seeing the 400 damage easy that we're seeing from the Brockas. We're, right. seeing, we're seeing like 100 damage hits here and there, 130 damage grabs, you know, 100, just little bits. So you got to do what you got to do, and everything has to be consistent. All right, nice. Another throw. And again, already armored up. Yeah, and so much of it is the longevity of the additional health from Sub-Zero and even the armor in this projectile game too, making so much of the toolkit from Havoc null and void. Yeah, that's another reason why this match ends up so long, is this is a 1,150 health match on both sides against a character that doesn't do very much damage. So yeah. just naturally, everything's going to take so much longer. Uh, this might be enough raw spin after this. EX spin, just to make sure. I like that. See, that's going to be, again, about the maximum you're going to get. Even right. spending an extra bar, 368. And that was a very specific situation to be in to get that damage. So uh, that, is, uh, that is a really good confirmation on how you need that damage to kill. 
Oh. Ooh. Weird I guess drop. wasn't really feeling that combo at all in the corner. Just, you know, sometimes you get overloaded with decision making right there. You just stack it. Just don't do anything. Just decide to take a little dance yeah. instead, you know? Just dance back. Or could shit me like, all right, all right. Let's limber up. This is a long set. <laughs> uh, match point, though, for Striker. I got to say, that's huge. Yeah. Currently on the offense. All right, nice down four. Avoids the fireball and also gets the hit. There it is, Jeez. yeah. See, that's such a good low. I don't know why we're not seeing it more. It catches so many people walking back. I think it's one of his best tools. Uh, but there we go, the unblockable. So no! Too early or too late, maybe in between just catching the knockdown frames in the middle of the juggle and restanding. And now we're gonna see the unblockable go the other direction. Goodness. Oh, so definitely happy about that. We're still one potential conversion away, though. We've got Fatal Blow on deck for Striker. That combo again, not going to do a ton of damage. 200 yeah. even for a bar. And so we just need to find one small little hit here. Both sides can potentially do it, both with one bar. sub has gone for Woo! both now, though. So this is going to be damage-wise an advantage yeah. for Striker having that Fatal Blow. Now it's even. Yeah, just his one touch here, essentially. All right, there's our throw. No, definitely throw uh, will be kill here again. Or back to two grab might even do it. <gasps> oh, grab the other direction. They're not doing enough. There's four seconds left on the clock. We're at time. Yeah, Trying to get the chip. No, go, just it wasn't oh. enough. Tried to time it out, but that spin leaving just enough time for that last jab. And so Pars is still completely in this. Gonna accidentally waste the two bars though off the bat, whiffing the EX roll. That's a rough way to do this. All right, still so close a match here. But Striker in full control right now in this corner to seize victory at the finish line, potentially. Oh, and this is a, there's a literal finish line yeah. right here, and that is that big red gross line again! Two times for Striker in a row! Catching at the time where it's literally not even connecting. That's super rough. And now, I think mentally, it's going to be a tough fight back. Right. It's still a good lead. It's still a great position. Match point for Striker, but you've got to be like, oh my god, why is this stuff not working? Right. I feel like I'm making the right reads. All right, armored up just in the nick of time. That's an excellent trade here if you're Striker. The down forwards are actually starting to get a little bit of uh, chipping here. And yeah. as we've seen, the life lead can mean everything. Uh, we're already down to 35 seconds, which seems like a lot of time. But in this matchup, that is not a lot of time. As they're just slowly chipping each other away, doing little bits of damage here and there. Right. We saw that literally like one second, one hit of block can be everything. All right. Barely a lead from Striker here. But immediately take it back by Parsap thanks to this throw. I'm going to get another fireball set up potentially. There it is. But already armored up. With that back to pick up into oh. fatal blow to steal a lead. Oh, oh no, there was definitely an attempt to break. Oh no, it couldn't break because Sub Zero was out. Yeah. That's why you weren't yeah. able to break that. Uh, definitely, we see the little shake right there. Like, why was my the break not happen? But you cannot break while your cameo is on the screen. And yeah. now one hit away. Can Parsa avoid this chip? Flawless block is going to stay alive. Tried the roll, didn't make it. And that's going to be Striker winning the run back, making it back up to the grand finals, the Ultima finals. But yeah, I think right there, that was the explanation. Cameo yeah. was out, Sub-Zero was on screen, Breaker not yeah. available. Definitely a way to go. But again, that's a skill that's so heavily managed in games, you know, any sort of team game, any sort of versus yeah. game. Uh, and this is something we're all learning as time goes on. But a great play between two of the best Havoc players that we've ever seen. Right. But it's gonna be Striker in a fresh matchup that's making it back up to the Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, excellent showing too. And again, like resource management is so 